Hold on, hold on. So do you believe in the Bible? No, I don't. Great. So you're a walking contradiction. Because you believe in Jesus, but you don't believe in the only place that speaks on him. Bring it up. The only, the only place that tells you how he was born, about his mom and his daddy, his brothers and sisters, how he died, how he lived. But you don't believe in that because you say a white man wrote it. But give me Job 30 and 30. I got you. Because you say the white man wrote it, right? Yeah. They just gave it to you in slavery. They took it from you, then we gave it to you in slavery. That's right. why they have such thing as a did slave you, you Bible. Know, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. When hold on. Biden first came along, hold on, brother. The black person who reinvented it. Hold on, brother. Because we got to deal with that. I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe in the Bible. Now, I get it. You say you don't believe it because you believe the so-called white man did it, right? They wrote the Bible. Because yeah. they gave it to you in slavery, our people, right? But trust me, this Bible is only for the so-called black men and women. That's only right. the Hispanic men and women. Only the Native American men and women. Right. right. Only for us. The Bible was written by us for us. It ain't for nobody else. Just like the Savior, Jesus Christ, ain't for nobody else. That's right. What color is Christ? Black man. Right. But how can you say a white man wrote the book? Come on. Read this for me. Read. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna show you some scriptures of color. When you work, when you walk oh, into on. a church, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, when you walk into the church, you're gonna see this. You will see a white man. Right? Yeah, you're gonna see this. But that's not this if the Bible, right? That's not according to the Lord. We're gonna get that next for you. We're gonna show you Job, a prophet of God, is black, so called black. Then we're gonna show you Jesus Christ himself. Confirm what you just said. Y'all believe he's black. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's, let, let's let the scripture speak. Read. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Listen okay. up, listen up. Because Jesus. My skin is white, black white upon me. What did Job say? My skin is black upon me. Job said his skin is black upon him. Now get me um, the Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Job said my skin is black upon me. Right? Is Job, was he not a prophet? Was he not a man of the Lord? Okay, so the prophet was black, right? One of the prophets in the Bible was black. Now I'm going to show you, you know who King Solomon is? King Solomon. Black man, right? And we're going to prove you thus saith the Bible. Read that. The Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black, but comely. He said, I am black, but comely. King Solomon is a so-called black man. He said, I am black, but comely. What does that mean? I'm black with you. Yeah, you see this dark tan on me. You see I'm kissed by the sun, and I'm beautiful. Bring it out. And I'm stepping out. And he had the locks in his head. And he had the gold up in there. And he had the jewels on. I'm black and beautiful. Right. Not this image right here. He said, I'm black and beautiful. Right. Now give me Revelations 1 and 14. Let me show you. Listen up, sister. Let me show you the greatest man that ever walked this earth. What color he was. Because you said he was black. You said he was black. You say you believe on him, but you don't believe in his Bible. But the only way you can know of him is through his Bible. Bring it up. And I'm going to get you that in John. Read this. Start at verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh-huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It said the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does that mean, Maurice? The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? You hear me? You, you, you lost. Stick with me. Stick with me. I know, hey, that's what we got it for. We got these images to get your mind going, right? So, pay attention to this image for me right now. All right? Read that again for him. The revelation of Jesus Christ. He said the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? The revelation. Revelation. Yes, sir. What does revelation mean? Reveal. Reveal. You agree with that, Maurice? That revelation means to reveal. Yeah. So. L.A. L.A. Yeah, L.A. Yeah, I mean. The other brother was Maurice. Oh, excuse me. Excuse my apologies. L.A. I got you. So, what's your name, sister? Regina. Regina. So, L.A. and Regina. It said the revelation of Jesus Christ, meaning the revealing of Jesus Christ. Jump down to 14. Let's see what reveals Christ. Because you won't find this anywhere else. Authentically, right? Read. Verse 14. Listen up, brothers. Listen up. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said Christ's head and his hairs were white in color and woolly in texture. What people has that texture? You agree with that? No. You don't. So you don't believe that so-called black men and women have woolly like hair after losing. You don't believe that? Okay, I can say yes. Okay. Woolly. All right. Now, why don't you believe that other part? I mean, I when you look at the picture, I mean, it just looks like a senior, a great, a great, a black person with gray hair. Uh huh. But 
You're right. Right. All praise. The Bible is right. right. That's what I'm reading from. It's not my thoughts. It's not right. my opinions. It's thus saith the Bible. Thus saith the Lord. Right. Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. Thus saith the Bible. That's, That's right. right. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Reed. as white as snow. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes was a, were as a flame of fire. And his eyes was a, as a flame of fire because he drank wine. What's Christ's first miracle? Christ's first miracle. He turned water into wine. Turn water into wine. You got both of your buds out? All right. Christ, his first miracle was he turned water into wine. Right? So Christ, he drank wine in moderation. And through that, the whites of his eyes, when we drink a little bit, our eyes turn red. So that's what the scripture is talking about. He wants you no laser beams, nothing like that. He just sip a little bit. Right? Get up, get Proverbs 23-29. Yes, sir. Go ahead and get that. Because we're going to show you, let's see if the Bible, that line upon line, this image is false. Line upon line, it's a lie. This is a truer depiction. Now, we're not saying Christ looks exactly like this. That's not what we're saying. We're saying this is a truer depiction of Christ than these images that our slave masters gave us. Right. That right. our slave masters gave us. Read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 29. Bring it out. Who have woe? Who have sorrow? Who have contentions? Who have babbling? Who has woes without cause? Who has redness of eye? <coughs> Redness of eyes. It listed all those things. Who has those things, right? Because Christ did he sin? No. But it was talking about being hurt, about being wounded. Then give me Genesis 49. Me, keep reading for me. They that tarry long at the wine. Uh -huh. They that go to seek mixed wine. Read that top part starting with the eyes. Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine. So a consequence of drinking wine. It says, Terry at the wine. Christ wasn't drunk, but he did sip in moderation. And through that, through time, his eyes turned red. Read. They that go to seek mixed wine, look not thou upon the wine when it is red. Boy, give me Genesis 45. So that clearly has let you know from drinking wine, and I'm going to live an example, he'll live an example. If we sip a little bit, the eyes going to turn red. That's just how it is. That's a trait of our people, right? That's the say of the Lord. Is that what I want? Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. Listen up, sister. Listen up. Because we're showing who this is according to the Bible. Who is this? What would y'all say this is? Who? The white man is Jesus. The white man is Jesus. You agree with that, sister? What about you? The white man is Jesus, right? It's not our Jesus. Not my Jesus. Not my Jesus. Thus said the Lord, Christ is a so-called black man. That's right. That's who Christ is. And we showing you that line upon line. Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. It shall be red with what? With wine. Christ's eyes was red with wine. Now jump back to Revelation. Listen up. Listen up. We talking about who the greatest man that ever walked this earth and how he looked. That we've been lied to our whole lives. That we was told our slave master was our savior. Our slave master was our hero. He the one that's killing us, right. murdering us, raping us. But he gonna come from the sky and save you? What, from other white people? What sense does that make? A black man is gonna crack that sky and save you from all your enemies. That's right. Right. Whether that be white, Chinese, Arab, he gonna save you from all of them. And if you ain't right, he gonna kill you too. Right. If you ain't doing thus saith the Lord, he gonna kill you too. Right. right. That's the Messiah we worship. That's right. not the soft-spoken white man that you've been given. Red man that you've been given. Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. White like wool. I see them, my young brother, right there. White like wool, but his is black and wooly. Read, because he's a young man. Read. Right. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. From drinking wine, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. What color is brass? Yes, sir. What color is brass? Gray. Gray. What about you, sis? What color is brass? It's like a golden bronze. Golden bronze. What about you, sis? Bronze. What about you? Bronze. bronze. Okay, so you say gray. Now, anybody have bronze? You got a picture for a 
Go ahead and check out the picture. We're going to show you what fine brass is. Because y'all hitting on something. Y'all sisters are absolutely correct. Bronze is so-called golden brownish tint. That's what it is. So right now, we read that Christ is what type of brass? Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So I'm showing the pictures he's showing you. Brass and if it's burned in a furnace. Look at that closely. That's what Christ's skin tone resembled. Look at that closely. That's what his skin tone resembled. Christ wasn't just no black brother out here. He was black, black. It said as, as if it burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color would it be? Black. So it's no getting around that Jesus Christ would today be called a Negro. Right. African American. That's what Christ would be called today if he walked this earth. So he's not a so-called white man, according to the Bible. Right. LA, I'm, I'm harping on this because you say you believe in Christ, but you don't believe in the Bible because of the white man. Because you believe he wrote the book. Guess what? The white man's destruction is in this book. Right. His destruction of his whole entire race is in this book. Our destruction is in this book if we don't keep God's commandments. That's right. So that's said the Lord. This is how Christ looks more closely, more resembling than this image right here. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth. <laughs>